A very pleasant good morning to everyone. What a pleasure it is to be worshiping with you once again. I give God thanks for his mercy, give him thanks for his grace, for his keeping care, for watching over us while we slept and for waking us up this morning. We serve a mighty God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can think or imagine. And so it makes sense for us to commit our ways to him. It makes sense that early in the morning we seek his face. And so this morning I extend a very special welcome to those of you who have joined us here for another morning devotion. If you're joining us on the various social media platforms, whether live or later on, you will listen to this broadcast. We extend to you a warm welcome and we invite you to feel and to know that the Spirit of the Lord is in this place. And may you not leave here without having experienced the blessing that God has in store for you. For those who are joining us via radio this morning, good morning and welcome to another morning devotion. We sincerely pray that God's blessing will be outpoured upon you. And whatsoever the reason is, whether you got here by invitation or whether by you just came across this link, I want you to know that it's not by accident, it's not by choice, that it's not by luck that you're here. But God has a message in store for you and Good morning, everyone on the platform, and good morning to those who are listening um, via Facebook and other social media. And I um, want to thank you, Sister Daniela, for um, sharing those, those um, beautiful verses this morning. And indeed, um, I and remember those old time choruses that would have us singing and clapping and shouting and all of, all of those things. And thank you very much for um, sharing with us those, as I said before. So as soon as, um, this morning, as we continue to look at the, the verse this morning or the week, which is taken from um, Exodus chapter 6 and verse 9, and it reads thus, and uh, so Moses spoke thus to the children of Israel, but they did not heed Moses because of anguish of spirit and cruel bondage. Uh, let me read a word of prayer. Father, I just want to thank you this morning for sparing our lives to be here to share your words this morning with each other and god as we come to mighty god we pray that you will open up our hearts this morning i pray as i would share that you would speak through me in the name of jesus and for those who would be listening to your words that your words would find lodging place in our hearts thank you for waking us up this morning and close us in our right mind so we can be here another time on this earth to say thank you, Lord, for all your good benefits. In Jesus' name, amen. So as I looked at this um, verse this um, that we are, um, as we, that we are using this morning to encourage each other and for those who would be listening, I see here hardship and more hardship. As the people of Israel experienced great hardship under the hand of Pharaoh, the Egyptian work the Israelites without mercy. And as we looked at how Pharaoh um, would treat the people of God, God took notice of what he was doing. He told the taskmaster, 
not to supply them anymore with straw for making bricks. They should get their own um, straw for themselves. And they still required them to make the same number of quarter or the same number of brick. He did not want to reduce the quarter. He said that they were lazy. And uh, he would have more work to them and the people would cry out to God. And uh, more, um, Pharaoh thought that the people were saying that, let us go to offer sacrifices to our God. But Moses thought that, um, sorry, Pharaoh thought that, you know, they were just, um, just lazy and they didn't want to do the job. They just want to get away. So he, um, he didn't, he didn't pay them that full attention that they needed to have. And so their, the, 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 the work was increased for them. And so they cry out and, um, to God and, and they couldn't take it anymore. The treatment that, um, they were getting it, it. It caused them to be discouraged, and and um, they didn't want to listen to what Moses was saying um, when he when God told him to go to them and give them this reassuring word that He will be there for them and help them. And so it is for us as Christians. We would go through hardship. We would go, when we look back in the in the word or when we read the Bible, many of, or at least all of those um, men of old are, um, went through so many things because they accept to follow Jesus Christ as their personal savior. Even Jesus himself went through a hard time when he went to the cross. And so it is for us as, as Christians, when we follow God, when we decide to accept him as our personal savior, he didn't promise us that the road would be easy. In fact, he repeatedly warned people to consider um, the cost of following him. And um, in, in, in Mark chapter eight and verse um, um, 34 and downward, he said, he said, um, when he, when he had called the people together to himself and with his disciples, he said to them, whoever desire to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. And uh, for whoever, um, desire to save his life will lose it. But whoever lose his life for my sake, and the gospel will be saved. So you see, my brothers and my sisters, that every one of us, we have a cross to carry or to bear. We have to go through some hard times. We have to go through some stuff because um, God himself has his only son, as I said before, and he went to the cross and he, 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 there was, there was a lot of pain that when he went to the cross, they put a crown of thorn on his head and all of that. And so we have to go through it. We have to take up our own cross and to, when we come to follow Jesus Christ as our personal savior. So as we go through life and as we walk this Christian journey, it is not going to be easy. The children of Israel, um, they face um, so many um, brutal, they were up against so many brutal treatment until um, they got so discouraged. There are times when we go through situation in our lives, we get discouraged too. We are human. And so um, it doesn't matter if we are Christians for how many years, um, when situation comes upon us, we will question God and ask God, why are we going through this? Sometimes we might feel as if that I don't want to serve God anymore because he is not coming through for me. Little did the children of Israel knew that God was hearing their cry and he was going to help them. And so God said to Moses to tell the children that of Israel 
that I am Yahweh, the Lord, and I appear to Abraham and Isaac and to Jacob as El Shaddai, God Almighty. But, I, 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 but, but he now is going to come to help his children. They did not, not want to believe. And sometimes, as I said before, when we go through a situation and even a friend or, 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 um, or somebody from church would come and to say, my brother or my sister, I know you're going through this hardship, but God will come through. In, in your heart, you might say, you can't stay there. You don't know what I'm going through. But when, when God gives you that um, reassuring word um, to tell you that I am El Shaddai, I am God Almighty, and I will help you. In fact, in, 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 um, in Isaiah chapter 43, and, 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 and he says that, um, when you go through the water, they will not overflow you. And when you walk through the fire, you will not be burned, nor shall the flames scorch you. I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I am, I, I, and, 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 and he continued to tell in, in verse four, he says, um, since you are precious in my sight, he said, I will honor you. I love you. My brothers and my sisters, Whatever we are going through, the God that we serve, El Shaddai God, Yahweh God will come through for us when it seems dark, when it seems like there, there's no way out. He will come through. The children of Israel didn't, um, they, 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 in, their, in their situation, um, going through slavery, they, be, they became discouraged. And so, and, and they didn't even want to listen what, what Moses um, was saying that God said to tell them. And I'm saying to us today, whatever hardship you and I are going through, remember God is always there. There is a song that says the battle may be hard and the conflict sore, though rocky the road as we travel along. Hold on a little longer. Take Jesus at his, at his words. He will carry us through, right through to the promised land. The point is that my brothers and my sisters, when we go through our situation, as I said before God will be there. He promised that he will not leave us nor forsake us. He will not allow our enemies to devour us. And so I just want to say to us to this morning, whatever you are going through, whatever I am going through this morning, and it seems like you have been crying out to God for a long, long time. God is hearing. He will come through. Mind you, he's not a God like uh, who walked in the fast food lane. You can go to the fast food place and you can go to the drive through and you can order. And those are other people that are sitting inside. They're ordering and you get, you get you before those people. God is not like that. Our God is an on-time God. He may not come when you and I want him, but he will be right there on time. So I say to us this morning, Hold on a little longer. Take Jesus at his word. When he's saying going to do it for us, he will do it. When he says he's going to carry us through the water, when he says he's going to take us through um, our valley experiences, yes, he will do it. Hardship will come. Hard times will come as we walk as Christians. But let us remember there is a God who never fails and he always be there for his children. Just want to encourage you this morning on those words to hold on. Though the children of Israel face hardship and they got discouraged, we also, as I said, will be discouraged when we go through a situation when it looks long and dreary and it looks like it don't have any end. But when we at our last thread of hope, then God will come through for us. May God bless us richly. Mother Rose is going to come at this time to close us in prayer. God bless you all. Amen. Thank you, Sister Ayersin, for those sound words of encouragement. God bless you. Let us tune our heart in prayer. Heavenly Father, 
Lord, we come, dear Father, with a heart of thanksgiving, dear Father God. Lord, we come telling you thanks, dear God, for your precious blood, dear Father God, that we keep us and still running warm in our vein, dear Father God. Father God, we thank you, dear God, for life, dear Father. Lord, this morning we thank you for this platform, dear Father, that we can come to hear a word, dear Father God, that can take us through the day, dear Father God, that we'll be comforted, dear Father God, we'll be encouraged this morning as we go along. Father God, I'm asking you, dear God, to hear our humble cry this morning as your word speak to us this morning, dear Father God. Father God, I ask that you rely on the flesh part of our heart, dear Father God, and to bring comfort to someone so today, dear Father God. Father God, as your word go out, dear God, let us take heed, dear Father God. Father God, everything is in your words, dear Father God, and you are the source of everything, dear, dear God. Father, help us, dear God, that we'll make it right with you, dear Father. We will trust you more and more, dear Father God. Father God, without you, dear God, we are nothing, dear Father God. Father God, you made everything and you give you give us all, dear Father God. Father God, we give you honor, we give you glory today, dear Father God. Dearest God, we thank you, dear God. You did not ask us to repay you. But dear Father God, we could not do it on our own, dear Father God. So we thank you, dear God, to take it all by yourself, dear Father God. This morning that we can have life and have it more abundantly, dear God. Father God, we ask, dear God, that we will have a loving heart. We'll have a forgiving heart, dear Father God. Lord, help us, dear Father God, that we, as we go along, dear Father, we will know how to treat others, dear Father, just as you have treated us. Father God, you said that you will never leave us nor forsake us, dear Father God. Father God, I'm asking this morning to hold us closer, closer to you, dear Father God. Father God, take us. You have taken us, dear God, from a mighty long way, dear Father God. And Father God, we are in a season now, dear Father God, that we are to live right. That, Father God, when the day of calling come, dear Father God, we will be uplifted. We will, you will take us in our right mind, dear Father God. You said that if we are filthy and you come, dear Father God, and we not change our ways, we will continue to be filthy, dear Father God. Let us have a heart, dear Father God, like you this morning. A heart, dear Father God, with love. A heart that can give us peace and joy. Lord, you have taken us from a mighty long way, dear Father God. And Lord, I'm asking to be with us all the way. Take us, dear Father God, that we will be like you, dear Father God. This morning, if there's anything unlikely in us this morning, dear Father God, I am asking, dear God, to blot it out of us, dear Father God. Lord, I'm asking you to purge us, Father. Lord, Cleanse us, dear Father God. Sanctify us one more time, dear Father God. Father God, we need you now more than ever, dear Father God. Lord, I'm asking, dear God, for your cleansing among us now. Take full control, dear Father God. Lord, I'm asking, dear God, to guide our tongue, dear Father God. Whatever comes, dear Father God, it will bring something, dear Father God to honor your name. Father God, we ask you will be a, be a fence around our children today, our families, our community, our homes, dear Father God. Father God, I ask, dear Lord, for your protection among your people. Remember this 
God, from dear Father God, as we, as we go along, dear Father God, we will grow more and more in you. We will know more, dear Father God. We will have you on our mind. We will put you first, dear Father God. We can tell someone about you, dear Father God, and your goodness, dear Father God. Father God, I'm asking you, dear Lord, to heal this morning, to comfort this morning, dear Father God. Lord, we thank you, dear God, for your love. Lord, we thank you for your mercy, dear Father God. Lord, I'm asking, dear Father God, to let your light forever be our guide, dear Father God. Lead us, dear Father God. Direct us, dear Father God. Father God, we ask you for your help that we will go through this rough time in depth and in height, dear Father God. Remind someone, dear Father God, that hope is still here, dear Father God. Remember those, dear Father, those that have the double mind this morning, that we will come to you, dear Father God, and be in oneness with you, dear Father God. Lord, I'm asking you a change for a change this morning. For those that are pondering, dear Father God, that they will cry out to you, dear Father God, and that they will deliver themselves to you, dear Father God, because there is no other, dear Father God, that can do whatever you can do this morning. Lord, you will change us, you will mold us, dear Father God. Persecution will come our way, dear Father. Father God and trials, but Father God, there is no other to take us through but you, oh Father God. Give us the strength to continue to go on this morning on this pathway, dear Father God, that in the day, dear Father God, you call. Father God, we will hear to answer here, my dear Father God. Lead us now, dear Father God, as we pray in the name of Jesus. We tell you thanks, dear Father God, and let your will be done in us. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Shalom, shalom, people of God. Indeed, this morning we are so grateful to God for yet another opportunity to be gathered in this fashion. It is not a right, but indeed it is a privilege. I just want to honor the presence of the Lord with us this morning. Indeed, he is a good, good father. He is the giver of life. He is, you know, the, the, our alpha, our omega. In him we live, in him we move, and in him we have our being. And we just want to honor him this morning for the God that he is to us this this morning, we're just so grateful that we have truly experienced his love to know that while we were yet sinners, he died for us. And even in our folly, he continues to show us his mercies. So we would proceed with our parting verse, Psalm 19 and the verse 14. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Have a blessed day, people of God. And as you go forth today, take the word with you, remembering that you are light and you are salt and that you are to bring hope to those who are in darkness, that you are not to rest until you see those that are around you come to know him as Lord and Savior, remembering that you are his ambassador and that you are to represent him well. Have a blessed day, everyone.